The American Clipper ship was a mid-19th century three-masted sailing vessel built for speed rather than capacity and used to carry high-value freight such as tea and silks. Clippers cut down the sailing time from China to New York from six months to three, giving their owners a tremendous competitive advantage and bringing goods first to market. In the years before the Civil War, American Clippers were the envy of the shipping world, and with their poetic names like Witch of the Wave and Romance of the Seas, they captured the popular imagination, too. The designers of the big American tea clippers were inspired by fast, small drug-running boats called opium clippers, which were used to sneak the drug into China past maritime authorities, who had outlawed its sale. The opium would pay for the tea and silks that American traders would then bring back to New York. By the 1840s, Americans had stakes in both types of vessels, and tens of thousands of Chinese had become hooked on opium. The most prominent of the American trading firms in China, Russell & Company, was run by a network of cousins. To make partner, you'd have to spend years in Canton's foreigner's colony, where, after hours, you'd drink and gamble and compete at cricket and rowing. Oftentimes, if you weren't already a relative, you'd marry a colleague, sister, or cousin when you returned to Boston or New York. This kept the money in the family, creating clippership dynasties with last names like Forbes and Delano. When gold was discovered in California Territory in 1848, over 120,000 Americans up and left for San Francisco in the largest migration in the country's history up to that time. Some came overland, but most came by sea around Cape Horn at the southern tip of South America. Savvy East Coast merchants, including many who were in the China trade, quickly realized they could make money sailing goods like boots and flour and whiskey to California as quickly as possible, where they could be sold for as much as 40 times their New York price. The most famous of the California Clippers, the Flying Cloud, made the passage in just 89 days. If you think a six-hour flight cross-country can be an ordeal, imagine being on a ship for that long. Warren Delano II was one of several barons of the sea to invest his clipper fortune into new enterprises such as coal and copper mines, Manhattan real estate, railroads, and the transatlantic cable. His daughter, Sarah Delano Roosevelt, would later sing sea shanties to her young son, Franklin, who would one day proudly display a model clipper ship near his desk in the White House. Clipper ship fortunes also funded Hudson River mansions, colleges and preparatory schools, and charitable and cultural institutions throughout the Northeast. <laughs>